Uh, among other things, you say you like so-called dollar-based assets in this market uh, environment. What are they and why? Yeah, good afternoon, Tyler. Well, today, notwithstanding, as the dollar's um, you know, gone, gone up, I guess, um, but uh, we tend to invest, most of our investors are U.S.-based. So that's one reason it takes away currency issues. It takes away the tax differential and foreign currency-based assets versus U.S. assets. Um, and also, we feel our portfolio is hedged. Whether the dollar goes up and down, we're not really making any bets on the dollar. Uh, we have assets that would do well in a declining or advancing dollar environment. You also like uh, strategic metals like gold and silver. Why? Well, we think in the long term, the Fed is probably close to being done, if not done. Um, and that's bullish for the precious metals, you know, gold and to some degree mm -hmm. silver. Um, and also we think that that declining dollar, increasing global demand over the next few years, the, the um, you know, the economic activity relating to green assets, green energy, green general is really good for things like copper and other industrial metals. So we think there's a lot of tailwinds there, but you're going to have to be patient. So we like that. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, so broad base. We like the metals, whether they're precious or industrial.